<laughs> Our second nominee is Abdi Orsani. Councilman. 
It was great meeting Senator Amy Klobuchar, but I loved meeting Governor Mark Dayton. And Governor Mark Dayton on that day, on that day, gave a speech, a small speech, and he recognized our effort with the Mahmoud Noor campaign. And he recognized that the East Africans, that the East Africans, if they persevered and worked hard, would be elected to office one day. Now that I remember it, it was a short speech, to the point, and very inspiring for me. It was as if he was speaking to me directly that day. And ever since that moment, I have dreamt of things that never were, and I asked why not. Ever since that moment, we started with the redistricting of Minneapolis, changing the map of our city to better reflect the demographics of our city and the change that has taken place. We lobbied hard for creating an opportunity world for both the Hispanic community and the East African American community. Then what followed, then what followed was this campaign, a campaign I am proud of, a campaign that has brought the best out of everyone that I know, and a campaign that has united everyone, united the likes of Abdi Wasami and Phyllis Khan. It has united young and old, immigrant Americans and those who were born here. It is a campaign of ideas, of hard work. It's a campaign that is based on dedication and based on hope. Hope that we can all be equals in the city and that we are all Americans. Some people are speaking about intimidation. Some people are speaking this was unfair, that this process was unfair. However, the only intimidation about our campaign was the sheer numbers of people that flooded the caucuses on April the 16th. All six, Minneapolis can do better and it should do better. My priorities are the alleviation of poverty, tackling homelessness, and the creation of jobs with livable wages. I'm also environmentally conscious and would like to promote a better public transportation network for our city. Better public transportation network that has pedestrian and bicycle friendly roads at its core. I want to support entrepreneurs emerging businesses and make our city a hub for new technologies and innovation. I will champion our youths and put in place tailor-made mentorship programs, vocational training programs that meets their needs. I will stress building better relations with our park board and help preserve the play areas for our children and families. My aim is to build an inclusive, more responsive government that collaborates well with neighborhood organizations and community groups. Above all, we need a city council that can reflect the great many changes that have taken place over the decade. Minneapolis has changed. Our city has changed. However, our city council has not changed with it. <laughs> Dear delegates, I promise to work hard every day for you, to lead and listen, to bring real positive, tangible change to the city. I promise that I will be the councilman for everybody in Ward 6 regardless of race, religion, sexual orientation, and economic status. To me, everyone matters, and every person is valuable. Thank you to the Caucasians, thank you to the Oromo, thank you to the Somali, thank you to the people who were born here, who came here, thank you to all the candidates, thank you for making this an interesting race. Thank you. No other, no other, no other.